Come and look inside. Well, we are here today at Harbour Creek's brand new location. It is Quayside, as you can tell. They're just in the process of moving into it at the moment whilst it just finishes off. Um, but we're here to show you something really, really exciting. And that is an L-shaped sofa in a Mercedes. So this is the Jules Verne. Now, it is based on the Mercedes-Benz Vito, which is obviously very similar to the Marco Polo. Now, the one thing you'll notice that is really significant about the outside of it is the pop top is the opposite way round to what you would normally expect to see. Now, one thing that they've definitely got right is using Mercedes on this because the Mercedes van styling is brilliant. It's a really classy looking car. So, if we walk around it, I can show you all the bits and features. This one is in a beautiful dark blue colour. Really nice colour, it actually really suits the van I think and in the sunlight it really glows a really nice blue. Also on the driver's side you've got a Fiamma F35 Pro wind out awning. It's actually sliding doors on both sides of the van. Really easy to open and actually they're really quiet in comparison to other vans that we've been around. So really quiet, nice doors they are. Um, there's not a window at the back here, there are windows around the other bits, but this back bit is always covered. Then as well here, you've got your electric point. It's also worth pointing out that this has got some really nice alloy wheels on it. Now the Jules Fern is fitted with a tailgate as opposed to barn doors, and it's on some really good struts that do actually pretty much lift it up itself. So that's nice and easy. In comparison to things like the uh, California, which is a little bit heavier because it obviously holds the seats in the back of the van. Um, something you don't get on this, but it is a very nice space there. And that leads you inside, but I'm not gonna show you in there just yet. At the back, you've got your water point and you've also got the uh, outlet for the Truma blown air heater. Um, so don't try and put fuel in either of those parts. It won't work and you'll end up getting a very expensive bill. So on the other side, this has got another sliding door, which is very exciting, which leads us to the interior. So let's go have a look inside at that. For this part of the filming, because it's me doing it, I want to move inside where it's nice and warm. But as you can see, we're on the L-shaped sofa. It's very similar to the Kepler one inside. You have a lovely big table, you can see, there's another support on the other side, but huge table, you know, perfect for family of four uh, sitting around here. You can easily fit sort of five around here, which is great. The two um, front chairs uh, swivel round. Lizzie's sat on one of them now, uh, and they come nice and close to the, the table as well. For traveling, these are belted seats at the back here. You just remove the um, section in the middle of the sofa which allows you to put your legs somewhere for when traveling but yeah they're all belted the access to this is probably a bit better than the Kepler one because you've got the two doors either side so for getting in and out is probably that little bit easier um, but yeah let's take a look a bit further back Sean don't forget the fridge this time what fridge does <laughs> it have a fridge <laughs> it's always had a fridge <laughs> As some of you may well know, we forgot to show the fridge in the Kepler one. But there is one, just like there is in the Jules Verne. It's a good size fridge actually. It's good having these shelves here for cans or uh, condiments or anything like that. And then the fridge is in there. So it's at a good, good height, easy to access. And there's even a little freezer compartment in there as well. Nice. Oh, it smells, smells so new. Also in this unit, there's more drawers down below. There's a space there, and again, another couple of those shelves there as well. The bit that Lizzie absolutely loved inside the Kepler one was this kind of vanity unit. As you can see, you can pop that up, then you've got a mirror, 
and then a huge area for tons of makeup. <laughs> but yeah, pretty smart. Unlike the Kepler one, which is based on the VW long wheelbase transporter, this is based on a Vito, which is about 25 centimeters shorter. Um, where the space is reduced is the L-shaped sofa is slightly smaller and the rear wardrobe area is a single door rather than two doors. So it's weighing up that um, what's best for you. Do you want the longer van, which is a little bit trickier to park, or do you want the shorter van, which has slightly less space? Still plenty of space, but slightly less. Right, well, the eagle-eyed viewers amongst you will notice that we're back outside in the one that was parked out in the sort of quayside. Um, there were a couple popped in who were having a look at potentially buying one of these. So we didn't want to make them stand out in the cold. So um, They're a lovely couple, though. Lovely couple. Good luck in your uh, venture to buy a camp van as well. Let us know in the comments below what you've uh, chosen to buy, because we are very intrigued. And we know you watch our videos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, anyway, let's have a look at um, the kitchen side of things. So, similar to uh, most camp vans, you've got twin burner hob, um, obviously your sink. Now, the difference is this has hot and cold water provided by the uh, Truma boiler, uh, which is a really nice touch actually. On the nights where you really don't fancy running up to the washing facilities to uh, do your pots, having hot water in here is pretty damn good. Uh, you also have a nice big worktop as well, which is pretty good. Um, even when you do have the sink and uh, worktop, sorry, the sink and the cooker in action, you still have worktop. Plenty of drawers. All got nice um, catches on them. A little cutlery tray in this one. Did you see that? Nope. <laughs> cutlery tray in there. Um, yeah, so plenty of drawer space. This also has like um, a little fold down flop, flop. <laughs> <laughs> Try that again. This also has a little fold down flap as well, which has a plug socket and um, like a normal three, three pin plug and also a 12 volt. Uh, socket in there as well, so you could probably put your uh, phone um, or tablet or anything like that in there to charge up, which is pretty good. And then these drawers here all fold out from the side like so. Plenty of space, and then some of the light switches are here as well. You can see the uh, see the mood lighting at the bottom there, Ooh. which looks very, very nice. Pretty cool. Uh, there's another cupboard under here. Sorry, it's not a cupboard. Well, it is. There is cupboard space underneath there, but what that's actually for as well is part of the extension of the bed when that's made up. Now, what happens is the table folds down, pushes right down. I'm not going to build it all up because if you want to see how the bed actually looks, check out the Kepler 1 video in the description below. After you've watched this, though, you have to watch all of this one. But yeah, basically what happens is this comes out, the table folds down and you rearrange the cushions and it makes a bed down the bottom here. You also use the passenger seat which will rotate round to form uh, part of the foot of the bed. Hope that makes sense. You can hear the heater whirring away nicely, keeping us warm. They're not always that noisy. It's, no, it's, only, when, it's only when it's fired up um, right at the start, which we've just done as we came out here. Because it's freezing. It is freezing. I really like these lights, they go all the way round. And you also have reading lights for when you're up in the top bed, but we'll have a look at that in a minute. And then the next part at the back of the uh, the Jules Verne, you can see in the bottom there that is a tray for a shower. You can also see the toilet here. Now this is just a cushion. You use that when you make the bed up at the front. But if I move that, if I move that out of the way, pass that to Lizzie. Thank you. There's a step there which can help you to climb up into the pop top bed but also this folds up and out of the way and then you have a proper cassette toilet with electric flush as you can see there so that's pretty good you don't usually see that in uh, many camper vans of this size so a proper toilet is nice um, obviously I know you're thinking how do I protect my modesty when you're sharing this with someone else there is in this cupboard on the side here there is actually a screen that folds out 
and attaches to there and that then protects your modesty <laughs> don't worry there is a there is also a, a screen at the back there you're not going to be on complete show to everyone on the campsite but yeah it's definitely I would say is probably for people that do know each other quite well this camper van if you're going to share it and use the toilet but speaking about the shower you have the attachment there so it attaches in there warm water like I said earlier um, hot and cold water and then this whole back bit has a shower curtain that goes round and you can use the shower at the back here but yeah I would say personally I think the use of the shower at the back here is probably for emergencies only really the last thing you want to do is get everything too wet but I'm sure there's plenty of people that would be happy to use it all the time and that is why the main reason why the pop top opens the wrong way well the opposite way not necessarily the wrong way just above the toilet you have all sort of your control panel and uh, this is where you control all your hot water you can see how much battery voltage you've got left uh, there's a 12 volt socket there as well that's your boiler control and that's your heater control which it's actually got too warm in here so we've had to turn it off now but yeah all in one place which is nice and easy to uh, to work with you can see the um the sort of the way the bed folds up as well in like two parts that's quite good as well so that makes it it does give you some extra headroom back here which is very useful i think yeah um it's something that you don't actually see in very many camper vans either so it's quite nice to see this um but i do like one of the features on the bed Ooh. and sean's going to show you just before we go up there oh. you can also see that um because the kitchen is much further back they have plenty of standing height here as well whilst using the the kitchen so it's it's all been thought about it's it's good um at the back here you have a cupboard it's like a small wardrobe with hanging space so hanging space in there and then there's another cupboard at the bottom there that holds your um, gas bottle and then just before we look um, at the bed in the pop top just mentioned the blinds as well which they tie back nicely and then they both fold across and uh, they're proper like blackout curtains so keep it nice and dark as well which is nice to see and then yeah nice and out of the way when you are not using them you can see here that Lizzie's just pulled the bed down and I can see that once you pull the bed down and then if you put that screen across you would actually have quite a bit of privacy to use the toilet which is pretty good So the screen would go across, you could still make nice awkward eye contact. <laughs> but yeah. Um, no, you don't have to do that obviously. You don't have to. <laughs> you don't have to make awkward eye contact. I probably wouldn't be sat here watching, that'd be a bit weird. No, you'd be facing the other way because the view's so beautiful. <laughs> the, the tide's gone out now, which is pretty crazy. Amazing. Anyway, anyway the, let's see the bed. The thing I get excited about when the bed comes out is, especially with these sorts of ones, and Westphalia are brilliant for doing this, you get these little springy bed things. So this is made by Froley, and you actually see this quite a lot now, and I'm glad that you do because I think they're absolutely brilliant. And even uh, VW have put them in the California Grand, or the Grand California as it's called now. So they are getting more and more popular, but they are extremely comfortable to lie on if you put a mattress on top. So that is a very large and very comfortable bed space. And you've got one window on that side and a really cool number plate on that van there. It looks like it says holiday. And then you've got another one on the other side, that one's closed at the moment. And then there's another one at the front of the van, as you can see there. But I don't know if you can also see, there is a zip that runs all the way around the edge of this. Now that means that this whole pop top can open up and you can lie there looking out at the world, which is really cool, I think. And then of course you've got the reading lights here as well. So it's a nice, light, airy, very comfortable upstairs bed. Now this one is a 140 horsepower engine, uh, diesel engine. 
You can get it in a 163 horsepower as well. I think that I think they're all automatic, um, as far as I'm aware. I'm pretty certain they're all automatic. It's another really good quality product from Westphalia. I, I really like touches like if you look at where the behind you, Lizzie, little things like where the seat belt things are actually hidden underneath there. So you, you can see the seat belts hidden, which is nice. Little touches like that, which are great for when you're actually living in the vehicle. You don't want to see all the car elements of it. So it's good. Um, real good quality leather. Love the huge table that folds out. And they've, like I said, they've really thought about it. You can still use the toilet when the bed is down. So if one of you wants to use the toilet in the middle of the night, you can still use it. And so what are your thoughts? Well, I mean, you know I really like the Kepler one. The Kepler one is a really crisp, clean, beautiful looking van. I love the L-shaped sofa. I definitely see the benefit of something like this for a couple who want to go traveling, but also want to use this as their daily van, but they want something a little bit more luxurious. And I think if that is the sort of couple that you are, or family, this is the perfect van for you. Well, there you have it. That's a nice detailed look at the Jules Verne uh, also, don't forget to check out the Kepler One video, which is linked in the description below. And if you are interested in having a much more detailed look and actually see it in the flesh, come down to Harbour Creek. They've been great to work with and uh, they're always really accommodating and they do a nice good cup of tea and plenty of biscuits as well. And also don't forget that Harbour Creek are gonna be at the NEC show in February. So come and say hi, tell them that we sent you and uh, also, don't forget to like and subscribe. We shall see you in the next video. Cheers.